colors away I will watch a blind rhythm as you spin to the stars It's high, you're where you are Listen butterfly, got a picture to see Painting on your back, traumatic catastrophe Wispy swirling, spinning spotty hooks into me You're high, you're my love's dream You're a mix match, what's that calling out to me? Never thought in my whole life that I would get to see Such a beautiful mess, all my favorite things you make me drop Jayari Kalaj It's a deep theological exploration of Christianity in America and it takes I'm kidding, this is a really silly romp about a mega church we cast James Bond as a mega church pastor and uh, Greg Kinnear as an ex-deadhead who's a born-again believer who sees his past do something that he's not supposed to see. It's a ridiculous cast, uh, and I, I don't know, it's it's a crazy story, it's a crazy script, um, and it was dealing with a subject that doesn't get dealt with that often, and I mean, once Pierce and Greg jumped in, everyone started jumping in. It's kind of an interesting time right now where there's, the industry's really changing, there's like giant Tentpole movies, and there's very, very tiny uh, movies with like less than a million dollar budget. So the, the movies that are, you know, a little bit more than that are really hard to come by, and actors are really hungry for interesting roles. If the script is good, people show up, even for little money. That's a fact. First person they cast is Pierce Brosnan, uh, and it was just such a silly idea that I really love that. And Pierce is great because he's got this this charm. Mega Church. Pastors are rock stars, you know, um, and they're sexy. It's an irreverent comedy that uh, kind of celebrates quirky characters and makes fun of them at the same time. Well, I grew up in Texas, and uh, these kind of quirky characters that uh, make up the film are the type of uh, characters that I uh, encountered growing up in Austin. I really want the viewer to laugh and have fun. It's nothing too serious at all. It's very lighthearted. The weather was incredibly challenging the entire time. We had thunderstorms passing through and a lot of the film is shot outside. And so we had 36 actors that we were trying to bring in and out of a location that was two and a half hours away from any major city. Earrings, they're gorgeous. And a friend of mine, Gretchen Kay, uh, made them. Let me just show it off for you. And also the ring. I don't know if you can see the ring with it as well. Makeup is done by Le Métier de Boutte. I know it's a very tough business. Yeah, it is. Is there ever a time where you thought you'd give up and you'd throw in the towel, and why are you still doing this? I've been doing this about 15 years. Uh, the acting business is really tough, and the fact that it's all about networking and who you know. Uh, I've had some good opportunities happen for me. I was on Friday Night Lights about four and a half years ago, and it really opened some doors for me. I had a recurring role in that show, and it just kind of gave me some inspiration to keep on going, and from that point, things have really, really progressed forward for me been working for about 10 years and um, I just do it because it was what makes me happy to do you know uh, I just get up in the morning and I do it every day and no matter what the project is short long small you know whatever uh, you know one thing can lead to another you can meet somebody and then go to on to a bigger project and it's just what makes me happy to do I had pictures of George with a goat. <laughs> no, I've known George for a while. He called me one day and he said he had this, he had written this part and I sort of was, I think you said, oh, that was the archetype for it or something you said? Yes. You know, and um, so, you know, I, I was on my way to do a film in uh, Philippines and uh, George said, can you come in? And we me, it was just a, a testament to George in his own pocket to do the table read in Los Angeles with that cast. What is it about George as a director that, you know, what, what makes him stand out for you as an actor um, than other directors he's worked with? Well, he, George, um, uh, George blocks in a very interesting way because he'll, he'll line up the shot and then he'll see what the actors do. And then he'll like nudge from there as, as opposed to coming in and saying, you're going to do this, this, and this, and he's sort of pre blocking his head. So it's sort of an organic, really organic, or such a cliche fucking word, organic. Um, but it actually is, because he just sees what, which is, a, I think, what smart 
smart guys do, because rather than try to impose the thing on, on the actors, you see what they innately do, and then you sort of just nudge from there. And George had very, very specific ideas about what he wanted. And what we did, one of the things that George that we made sure we got was that we had a lot of choices in takes, so that they could go back and, and sort of pick and choose. I thought it was a really nicely balanced sort of portrayal of the characters, because uh, you have a good guy that's not a great guy, and uh, a main villain, a main antagonist who's not actually particularly evil. So there's a lot of like rich exploration textually of those different characters. I don't even know where to begin to start. Praise actually, Jesus! Salvation <laughs> Boulevard! I was absolutely transfixed, my mind was blown, and um, I know the writer so it helps, but it was really awesome. I loved it, and I think Yul Vasquez is amazing. He's like my favorite actor, so it was great. I really liked that too. It was nice to see comedy. Laugh out loud. We're teaming up with uh, DJ Silver Medallion tonight, myself and uh, Morgan Paris. Very, very thankful to Jen Art for uh, the opportunity to be here. Texted you, I Twittered you. My name is DavidJr.com. My name is DavidJr.com.